One of the most important jobs as a new parent is securing your newborn in a car seat to ensure a safe ride home from the hospital. Car seats reduce the risk of injury by 82% and the risk of death by 28% compared to children in seat belts. Akron Children's cares about the protection of your baby and provides brand new convertible car seats to families in need. This car seat is safe for newborns starting at five pounds and includes higher sides to provide extra head protection in the event of a crash. It grows with your baby and it can be used until your child weighs 65 pounds or is 54 inches tall. It's important your car seat is installed before your baby is born. If you need help, Akron Children's nationally certified car seat technicians are here to assist you. Let us walk you through the steps to properly secure your newborn for her first journey home. Newborns must always ride in the back seat facing the rear of the vehicle and in the recline position. Ensure the car seat is properly secured to the vehicle seat. It should be installed with the lower anchor connector assembly or the vehicle seat belt. To adjust the recline stand, lift the car seat and flip the recline stand, which is located under the car seat, to the recline position. The recline position should be used for rear facing only, and the upright position should be used for forward facing. Then attach the harness straps to the splitter plate on the back of the car seat using the infant position. It's important to make sure that the harness straps are installed completely on the splitter plate or it could cause a loose harness and pose serious danger to your newborn. Make sure you're using the harness straps that are in one of the three lower strap slots for your newborn. The shoulder harness straps must start at or below your newborn's shoulder height, so use the strap slots closest to your baby's shoulder. Next, adjust the crotch strap position. For the newborn position, place the anchor through the rear slot and then feed it through the front slot. Make sure the anchor is completely through the front slot and is lying flat against the bottom of the seat. This position is not meant for babies more than 10 pounds. Make sure you choose the bottom slot that is closest to your baby. But the crotch strap position should never be under your baby's bottom. To ensure the car seat is installed correctly, it must not move more than one inch from side to side or front to back. Also check to make sure the recline stand is in the recline position and the level arrow is level with the ground. To ensure your newborn is safely secured in the car seat, you'll need to know how to adjust the seat the harness and the crotch straps and the padding around your baby's head. Use the infant head support and body pillow for your newborn while rear facing. They will help support your newborn while riding in the car seat. You can attach the infant head support through the harness slots just above the harness straps and it should lie flat against the car seat back. When setting your baby in the car seat, Check to make sure your newborn's back and bottom are flat against the car seat without any gaps. Next, bring each harness strap over your newborn's shoulders. Insert the buckle tongues into the crotch buckle. Pull up on the harness straps to check that the buckle tongues are fastened. Then, fasten the chest clip by snapping the two halves together. Slide the chest clip to armpit level. When fastening the buckle, the harness straps must be snug against your newborn shoulders without any slack. To tighten the harness straps, pull on the long harness adjuster strap on the front of the car seat. They should lie in a relatively straight line without sagging and you should not be able to pinch the harness straps near the shoulders. You don't want the straps too tight that it presses into your newborn's flesh or pushes her into an unnatural position. If your harness gets stuck, reach behind the seat and straighten out the straps at the splitter plate. To loosen the harness straps, push the harness release button on the front of the seat. At the same time, 
Pull on the harness strap near your baby's shoulders. To remove your child from the car seat, push the release button on the chest clip and pull it apart. Then press the red buckle release between her legs and remove the buckle tongues. Do make sure the chest clip is at your newborn's armpit level and the shoulder and crotch straps are snug against your newborn without any slack. Also, make sure the car seat is in the recline position so your newborn's head doesn't flop forward. Do store the unused tether strap to avoid a strangulation hazard. Tightly roll or fold the excess strap and secure it with a rubber band. Then place it in the storage area in the back of the seat. The strap is used forward facing. Do place a tightly rolled towel or pool noodle beneath the front edge of the recline stand if the level arrow is not parallel to the ground. Don't dress your newborn in bulky jackets and snowsuits in cold weather. They can make it difficult to properly tighten the harness around your baby. Instead, place a blanket over your newborn once secured in the car seat. Don't attach additional padding or toys to the car seat. They could interfere with the function of the car seat or cause breathing problems if your newborn's head falls forward. If needed, it's okay to use tightly rolled receiving blankets placed next to your baby to center her in the car seat. Just be sure to never place the positioning blankets under your baby, between baby and the harness, or near the baby's mouth, face, and neck. Don't route the harness belts over the recline stand when installing the car seat. Don't place a rear-facing car seat in the front seat of a vehicle. It can pose a serious danger to your newborn. As your newborn grows, you will need to adjust the harness and crotch straps to fit a larger baby. When repositioning the harness straps, make sure you choose a strap slot that is closest to your baby's shoulders. The harness straps should start at or below her shoulder height. As your baby grows, you can attach the harness straps to the splitter plate using the pockets at the end of the straps. To reposition the crotch strap, first turn the car seat upside down. Turn the crotch strap harness anchor sideways and push it through the slot in the bottom of the seat shell. Then reposition the harness anchor into the other slot. While your child is rear facing, the recline position should always be used. If you need help installing your car seat or have additional questions, contact Akron Children's Hospital's nationally certified car seat technicians. We care about the safety of your newborn and are here to help ensure her a safe journey home for the very first time.